Hello, this is Janne Kega of Yama Bonsai Studio. Today we have a brand new episode of the Bonsai Academy. Uh, we are going to talk about this juniper that was once collected from a garden. Uh, three years ago this one was transplanted in this training space pot and it's growing fine as you can see. Uh, last week we had a very interesting workshop with Andres Bicocca. He's a master in deadwood with hand tools and sandblasting tools. So what we have done, we have created some nice lines in these deadwood. Uh, Andres goes a little bit beyond when someone thinks he has already very beautiful deadwood. He goes a little uh, a step further and then with sandblasting it gets 10 times better as well. So the only main problem of this tree at the moment, because we have a very interesting trunk, very nice live vein, very beautiful deadwood, is the foliage. The foliage is not that beautiful because this is a regular garden juniper. Uh, I don't know the species from my mind, uh, but I want to make a more beautiful bonsai out of it. And the value gets better when you uh, craft more beautiful foliage onto it. So we have two options, using Kishu foliage or Itogawa foliage. These species are stronger, better, and the value gets higher as well. So what we will be doing is we will uh, approach graft uh, a, a rootstock juniper on this trunk or on uh, this branch. Um, normally it's better to do this in the growing season, but when you have a bonsai nursery, it always gets very busy. Um, so it's possible to do now as well. If we do a sky and graft, it would be better to do in February or March. As we mentioned before today, we're going to approach graft this juniper urban yamadori. So this is a garden tree with not that beautiful foliage. It's very coarse and not very beautiful. The foliage is also quite fluffy, so it hangs down. While the trunk is very beautiful and extreme because of this deadwood features and the live vein. So if you can see here as well, we have also a very beautiful live vein with very beautiful deadwood parts. The, unfortunately, the foliage is not very beautiful, so we're going to improve the tree and we're going to graft Itogawa foliage or Kishu foliage on it. Why would we do something like that? This is a big tree, so we can use Kishu because it has uh, a much wider foliage and uh, the foliage is a little bit bigger. Or we can go for a much softer and finer foliage that's called Itogawa juniper. If we do this, it increases the value of the tree and the tree will look more beautiful. And aesthetically, it will be better for the tree as well. The tree gets much stronger or will increase in strength. The life vein will, um, thicken, very, uh, will thicken faster and uh, it will look much more beautiful when the tree is styled. And it will make your life easy as well or more easy because you simplify the tree by using better foliage. So now we're going to clean up the foliage, but first I need to choose or make a selection which one I'm going to use. And we have this beautiful Kishu foliage, what is a little bit more wider and uh, more dense. And we have this beautiful Itogawa foliage, which, which is more finer and it grows quite nice. Um, Kishu comes from a colder climate, so they would be used to this Belgium climate as well. Itogawa goes or comes from a much warmer climate in Japan, but it's a very uh, easy species and it grows very well in our climate as well. So I'm going to use this Itogawa juniper. Why? Because I don't want to use or uh, have too many pots hanging on my tree. And this one has a few longer shoots, which, I, which is easier to approach grafted on the tree because I can use this one, this one, this one, and maybe some in the bag as well. So I can approach graft multiple uh, branches onto the tree. What's very important to do now is I'm going to remove all the old and ugly foliage. Uh, I'm going to cut unnecessary branches that we don't need for grafting that will be in the way and then we can start grafting the tree. So all these branches closer to the trunk that we don't need I'm going to remove. All these dead ugly brown branches I'm going to remove as well. All the foliage that's in in the interior part or in the branch junctions I'm going to remove also. 
all these small weak shoots. Try to do it as beautiful as possible because it could be possible that we need to use a certain spot to, to graft it on. So. So when we have this, we know we will graft it onto this side. So also the things that grow from beneath, we can remove. It's always better to prepare your branch quite well. Also the things in the, to the junctions. Very important for grafting is that we have these long shoots because it needs to grow a lot and it needs to get bigger as well. This one I can use for the grafting, this one and this one and this one. So probably this one I will keep because I need healthy foliage as well. But afterwards when the grafts took they will be cut in these spots, so. Second step is we need to attach the pot of the rooted stock because it's very important that we have our hands free that we can work or manage to get this foliage to this part and that we can approach graft it onto several branches, what's very important. So I, need, I want to have my hands free and I don't want to have a heavy pot attached to something so I can't work because the cambium of the trees, they need to, of the two trees, they need to, uh, they need to touch each other and it's very surgical kind of work. So it's very, uh, you need to be very, not really very carefully, but it's very precision work, what's very important as well. So what do we need? We have a wire, gin pliers and our wire cutter. So first I will check for any attachment points on the trunk or on any dead wood so I can attach the, uh, the pot. But also very important is I already need to know where I want to attach my grafted branches. So it's possible that one branch I'm going to attach here or maybe on this one and some others here. As this foliage comes more to the front, it's easier to put my pot here behind it, somewhere, maybe behind all this foliage of this tree, like this. Now I can see I have one graft, one branch possible to graft in here. I have one it's possible to graft here and one I can graft here as well. So this looks like to be a very good position. And then I'm going to attach my wire. So the way I always work is I try to be very secure. Um, this one is very important to graft here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bark off from here so it's easier and so I can draw on the bark as well. So I want this branch here and I need to make very clear where the point is to graft. So it will be there and it will be there more or less. Why is this? Because I need to know where the cambium is going to touch each other. So it will be there and there. Uh, more like here. Then 
I can take my grafting knife and eventually a chisel as well and I can cut into the live vein try to not touch the cambium and try to work as clean as possible and don't touch the cambium with your hands so okay this is starting to look quite good it's very important that if you don't press your branch deep enough in it that you will get uh, a bigger place or a thickness around there so you need to fit it in quite well so that's why I need to use the chisel to remove some of the hardwood as well what you can also use is a Dremel or a Makita or some kind of tool to do this as well. But I prefer to work manually. So as you can see we have tried to make it as clean as possible cut over here so that the cambium here and here will attach it and it's also very important that the branch will fit in and we don't get a very big bump around there so now I, now I have fit them together and now you have to be careful that you have this kind of shape so that the cambium from this side will attach will be attached to this side so here I can work in like a, a V kind of shape around here and around here okay and here as well and now we can check if this fits perfectly <laughs> try to not touch it and try to work as clean as possible okay now here you can see the cambium touches to each other and we need to hold it very tightly what we need to do now is we use some grafting tape to hold it tightly together and afterwards we can hold some wire and volcanic tape to hold it even tighter together so this is very important It's very important that the composition will not move. tie it down very securely like we're doing now so it cannot move anymore then we can seal it a bit with some wound paste and it's very important so that the wounds are sealed but especially here are some holes and they need to be sealed as well so now air 
can go into that position. And then I'm going to use some volcanic tape. And then I probably will use some wire as well. So everything will be kept tightly into position. This is the volcanic tape. And I'm going to add wire at this point. And I'm going to use wire at this point. But we need to check that it will, that we need to tighten it first here, then a little bit here, then here, then here as well, because otherwise the whip will move and this is something so piece by piece I'm going to tighten it more so the cambium will be stuck together very carefully now this part has to thicken a lot more and this graft can grow a little more a little bit more out and uh, maybe in next year or in two years we can cut it off what i will be doing is well when it's growing uh, next year i will remove a little bit of a piece here from the life vein so this part will get weaker and weaker and this part can grow out yes so also an important thing in my opinion to do is when we finished grafting these we can clean these junctions and we can remove the foliage that's growing down uh, why am i like to do this because our trees need to be very tidy and clean and this is also a very important part in bonsai so this is what we'll be doing now more or less like this so this, this br the branches that are growing up uh, will grow further and so our grafts can have enough light as well to grow and the tree looks nice and clean. So this Sabina juniper, or now Itogawa juniper, is very dear to me because uh, Hotsumi once told me that this tree is like kokofu level. Um, in Japan, the value increases as the life vein is spiraling more around uh, the deadwood. So if you know Kimura's blue dragon, this is a tree that is uh, where the life vein is spiraling eight times around the deadwood. And that's why this is such a famous and valuable tree. Uh, so this tree to me is very dear because of this as well. If you see the very beautiful life vein and very beautiful deadwood and the elegance of the tree. So this is a tree that uh, will never leave my garden probably. Now four years ago the tree was grafted with Itogawa foliage. Uh, this we had done with cyan grafts. This means you have a small branch that you put into the branch of the original tree. You can do this from in February, March more or less. 
And then in four years time, uh, we created uh, the third shaping of this tree. And now it's starting to look uh, quite nicely. Uh, what we will do in future is to give it more a wabi-sabi feeling or mochikumi feeling. And we will transplant it in another kind of pot. This is a decent Japanese uh, old pot, but it doesn't suit the tree very well. So in future or maybe next year, we will transplant the tree again in a, in a better pot. So as I told you before, this tree was uh, cyan grafted with Itogawa foliage. As you can see here is a, one place that we grafted. We have grafted this tree with eight, uh, eight uh, sky and grafts and it went very well from there on. Because we can see now that the actual Sabina Turifera juniper is going to have the same bark or creating the same bark as the Itogawa. The tree is getting stronger and also the life vein is expanding a lot faster like uh, normal Itogawa does. So it makes this tree stronger, more elegant and more beautiful. And that's very interesting about uh, grafting a tree with, be with better foliage. Uh, because if we simplify and make it ourselves easier, uh, we can create a more beautiful bonsai, more easy than working with different or uh, working with foliage that's more difficult.